Oh, you gotta love it. History, not a mystery if you're an area football fan. Tonight, we not only kick off a new year, but we kick off the 25th season of the Highlight Zone right here on the tube. Thank you for making it Fort Wayne's longest running and most watched sports show. And while it is the silver anniversary, only one team came home with the gold last fall. We get things started with the reigning state champs, and Andy McDonald has your Highlight Zone Game of the Week. Andy. Hey, thank you, Glenn. It was possibly the best game we saw last season in the Summit City. Dwanger, a fourth quarter comeback to beat Wayne by a single point in that sectional championship. It ended the general season while the, Mar the Saints, they marched to that 4A state title. Would it be revenge or repeat? Dwanger at Wayne. It's your Highlight Zone Game of the Week. The Saints bumped up to 5A this year, even so they started the season second in state. Wayne, 15th and 4A. These Saints marching without missing a beat. Patrick Finley, the dive is 14-0 in the first quarter in favor of Dwanger. The Generals offense gets on going. You'll see this guy all season long. Keyshawn Fields falls forward in the end zone. The talented running back was held to just 44 yards rushing. It's 14-6 late in the second quarter. Just four minutes remaining before the break when the Saints offense opens up. Brendan Lytle to Griffin Iver, bubble screen around the corner, but it's ruled he stepped out at the four yard line. This O-line keeps turning those legs. Devin Tittman, number 25 around the right side of the line to hit Pater 28-6 Saints. After a turnover on downs, Brendan Lytle, the pump fake, and the dime, watch this one, to Eifert from 56 yards out. The Saints score 21 in the final four minutes of the first half to blow this thing wide open. It's 35-6 at the break. The Saints offense isn't a ground and pound anymore. Brendan Lytle, Blaine Houston. Houston, these Saints are going to be a major problem in the SAC. Bishop Dwinger wins big, 41-6 the final. Um, it feels nice to start off the game, I mean, start off the year with a win. And, I don't know, it just like shows our offense. Last year we ran the ball, but this year it just shows that we can pass the ball. I mean, how dynamic is it? Because you got Finley in the backfield, you got Griffin, you got Houston, you got all these options. I mean, is it almost too many options? It, I know, it's crazy because I just feel like if I throw to one, the other one gets mad if I don't throw them the ball. But, I mean, it's nice having all those receivers. We wish our offense lines were balanced. We had potential to be better than last year. So if we all do our jobs and execute, we play as a team, we'll be all right. I think the, the biggest concern we had coming in was, you know, that hangover. And, and I think, you know, it's, you know, you talk about it, you preach it. We try to go about it the best way we can. And, you know, it was just going to wait and see how things, how things turned out tonight. So I was very, very proud of our guys. That's our senior leadership. Wayne will play at Bishop Lures next week while Dwanger, they open with a new stadium against Northside. Glenn, back to you. Good.